Texas school officials defy the feds after violating civil rights. Ah, hell of a story, here it is. For over three years, NBC News has investigated the picturesque South Lake, Texas, Carroll Independent School District, where some students told us about a culture of racist and homophobic bullying. What happens to black kids when they go through school systems where they don't feel entirely at home? I think that it strips them of their identity, and I think that they leave a shell of the person that they once were. Documents reviewed by NBC News show that this week, the Department of Education notified South Lake's Carroll Schools that it intends to negotiate with the district over four students' civil rights complaints. We spoke with a lawyer for the students. When the Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights notifies a district that they're being invited to negotiate resolution of a complaint, it means that they have made a formal finding that the school district violated those complainants' civil rights. Christian was 12 years old and had just left the district when we met him in 2022. What were kids saying? They were using um, gay slurs and um, like being very rude to me. Southlake was thrust into the national spotlight in 2018 when a video of students chanting the N-word went viral. A group of conservative residents then defeated a proposed diversity and inclusion plan. By the time my my um, youngest was in ninth grade, he was getting called the N-word pretty regularly. Mom Angela Jones filed one of the federal complaints. I knew that my children's civil rights had been violated, but to have the Department of Education come out and say they agree, that meant the world to me. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Wow, um, NBC News also spoke with the superintendent about this ordeal, here it is. South Lake's Carroll School District today did not respond to requests for comment. But in August of 2021, we sat down with Superintendent Lane Ledbetter. Is there racism in South Lake and in Carroll ISD? So let me think about that question, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> Uh, I think it goes back to people understanding each other, almost from an, from an empathy standpoint, just being able to understand varying perspectives and differences. Superintendent gets a serious question. Wait, let, me, let me consider what you ask. Yeah, yeah, there's racism here. We're racist as hell. You don't read the paper. I mean, this guy, um, obviously not a um, strong arm here. Uh, to root it out, you ask him the obvious question. He laughs. Hey, what? That's the question? Racism? Isn't that why we're here? Put it a full mass. In response to this, um, Carroll Independent School District Superintendent Lane Ledbetter and Cameron Bryan, a trustee on the school board, has wrote a letter in defiance of the Department of Education now. Um, that laugh and that 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 entire response was obviously uh, offensive and defiant as well. So as posted by a senior NBC News reporter who wrote, quote, new school officials in South Lake, Texas are refusing to negotiate with the, Fed, with the feds to resolve for student civil rights violations. The district argues in part that the Supreme Court's overturning of Chevron limits the education department's power to enforce civil rights laws. However, Landbetter is set to retire in December of this year and will be succeeded by a person named Jeremy Glenn, who has a disturbing history regarding his stance on education. Um, Hicks and Bob pointed out that in 2022, we revealed that a school leader in Granbury, Texas, was recorded telling librarians to get rid of any LGBTQ books. The reporting triggered a federal civil rights investigation tonight. The school board in South Lake, Texas hired that man as his new superintendent. In another section of the book, Glenn and his co-authors said those pushing for border acceptance of, of broader, excuse me, acceptance of alternative lifestyles. And other culture changes are doing so through the indoctrination of children in books, as was done by Hitler. Um, if you live in this city, if you go to this school district and you um, 
you would like a chance at a progressive life of opportunity, diversity, and um, you know, connection, leave now. There is no hope for them. They are not going to change. They are likely getting worse. I mean, Sharon, the superintendent laughed at the most serious allegation and question imaginable for an advocate of students. We're privileged and white, and you're not going to tell us what to do. The yeah. Project 2025, let's, let's take it all the way back, baby. <laughs> where America was, you know, okay, mm-hmm. this yep. is uh, only the best people. Really? Aren't, if you live anywhere near these people, wouldn't you try to be a little embarrassed? Does everybody support this filth? Yeah. It's and that's the question. That's <laughs> the thing, because at a point, the superintendent is political because it's appointed by school board. School board is elected by the people. Thank you. So you got to have some agreement here from community members for this whole thing to work. The ecosystem All of racism. Is local. That's right. That's right. 